five innings complete. The M's lead it five to nothing. Adam Eaton will come in now to begin their half of the sixth, and it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think this is the inning that it needs to start happening. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Seeger with the bare hand. Oh, yeah. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right here. It's been such a struggle for these guys to score runs so far. He's thinking about taking a little bit of a different approach up there. He had the right idea. It just didn't really work out for him. Here's Melky Cabrera. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. One out, nobody on. The next pitch. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Ready now on one and one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Here's the two and one pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Out of here. So they narrow the gap, and hey, don't count these guys out just yet. A solo home run for Melky Cabrera. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's five to one. Even though this is only one run, this is important, not just because it gets them on the board, but also because they needed something to get the dugout going a bit, give them some life. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And these guys already have one home run here in the inning, and now you get to the real power guys here, so you need to be careful. Now, pitch on the way. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. You get a look there at his pitch breakdown so far. That sinker of his is a great weapon to have, and he picked the right spot to use it there. Adam LaRoche will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. First pitch on the way. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Now here it comes. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Straight paint at 94 miles an hour. Not a lot of movement there, but it's right on a dime. Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. That misses 1 and 2. One, two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. The right-hander deals on 1 and 2. And they can't get LaRoche to chase there as that evens things at 2 and 2. And when he's down 0 and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So. Now at two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Now here's the pitch. And Hernandez yeah. won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. Oh, they pulled the string on a good 
changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Sox get one right back here on the solo home run. Through five and a half, it's the M's five, and the White Sox one. Austin Jackson will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Austin Jackson. First offering on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Here it comes. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. The one one. And this is hit sharply toward the third foul base ball. coaching box. A foul ball. the lefties offering on one and two and Jackson's not offering at that one and it'll knock things up at two balls and two strikes two two pitch on the way now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul Ready with another 2-2. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still 2-2. Two two. Pitch on the way. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. And, and when you need a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk's not on the agenda. You better bear down right here. Here's the payoff pitch. This is so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Definitely not a guy you want to lose to. Now he's got something else to worry about besides your fans. Justin Ruggiano will stand in now and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. pitch on the ground now for Bonifacio this could be two to second for one on to first a double play yeah I don't know about that you've got a good base dealer over there at first base why not give this guy a shot to run before you go up there swinging at the first pitch and ground into a double play Robinson Cano will come on now and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away and that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. Now here's the pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Cano waiting on the 0-1. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. We're in the sixth inning now of a 5-1 ball game. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. None left for Seattle. They lead this one, though, 5-1. to one. 